Good day, boys and girls in video land. And Switchers here with the sixth installment of The Frugal Modder. Have I got something to share with you folks today? <clears throat> okay. Uh, carrying on with my theme of uh, thinking out of the box. I was at uh, Michael's there on Saturday. Uh, picking up some uh, oil paints for my washes. And I stumbled across this product, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, what is it? Well, I'm not going to tell you right now, okay? Uh, however, let's uh, zoom in and we'll see what it's all about. There we have it, folks. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let's really zoom in. Can you see that? And let's go a little bit this way. And let's really, really zoom into that stuff. That, my dear friends, <clears throat> is Nonskid. I found this product at Michael's. I will, uh, it's made by Liquitex. For all you fine folks out there that are sick and tired of using uh, Mr. Surfacer because of the smells and all that, have I got something for you? It's gritty. We'll accept paint. Okay. And there is the texture. Look at that. It dries clear. Okay. Um, I was fortunate enough today to uh, meet Cohen. And uh, I know how much he bitches about this stuff. And I was able, I gave him a, a small sample. And I told him that I'd get back to him uh, once I perfected the technique. Well, it didn't take me long to perfect the technique. <laughs> and there we have it, folks. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Okay. Now, so what is this stuff? Well, here we go. Liquitex Natural Sand. For the francophones out there, Norm, Sauve Naturel. It's an artist acrylic. It comes in a tub, uh, 237 milliliters. Um, the frugal modeler, well, yeah, $17 for this tub. It's a big jar, okay? Uh, let's zoom out here, okay, because you're not seeing what I'm doing. Okay. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's a big jar. Uh, you got a lot for your money. Okay. Uh, I gave uh, Cohen uh, a jar like this today. So that's what's missing out of it. That's it. Uh, absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful to work with. Now, let's uh, do a demo on how we use this stuff. Uh, here's something that I'd done over the weekend, which I did not like. Okay, I don't know what the camera's going to pick up there. You can see the brush strokes as it dried. I says, nah, this is not good. I thinned it down with some water. Still wasn't happy with the result over here. I can still see brush marks. However, Switcher, being the old military man that he is, improvise, adapt, and overcome, well... We adapted, and we overcame, and uh, uh, we're going to uh, do this. Just hold on a second. I need myself a, uh, a stencil brush. <clears throat> okay, you need one of these. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I have some smaller ones for working on my tanks and all that, but for this art large area, we're going to use a, uh, um, a larger brush. I'm going to zoom in for you fine folks, once again, so you can actually see me uh, doing this, and uh, maybe Switcher will be able to uh, model <laughs> and explain at the same time. Basically, you just lay it on with a brush, okay? Don't worry about the brush strokes for now, they're all going to disappear. Lay it on. A nice thick coat of this stuff, and what you're going to do here, 
Okay, once it's laid on, uh, you just take your stencil brush and a piece of paper. I'm getting a paper here. Bear with me, folks. I'm back. I'll be back. Okay. And you basically just tap, 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 like Carlos would say. Tap, 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 tap. As your brush loads up, and you can see that, okay, the different textures that happened here, okay, from there to there, wipe it off on your piece of paper. Carry on. And you just tap, 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 tap. Okay. And wipe it off on the piece of paper. And basically what you are doing is getting rid of your brush strokes. But you do not want to build little peaks. Okay, that is why you continuously uh, wipe your brush on the paper. I want you to wipe your brush as much as you're doing um, dry brushing, okay? And as you go along, all those little peaks will disappear, okay, to, until you get a fine, fine, fine texture. Now, what is nice about this? Folks are doing this regardless, okay, with... Uh, Norm has got a gesso trick. I know about gesso. I used to use it in oil painting. Black gesso and white gesso and so on and so forth. And I believe that Norm is going to love this stuff. Okay. As you see, there's the difference in texture. I don't know what you can pick up. There. This part here is almost right. And as you see, I'm not quite done over there. We still have some peaks in the middle. And we just continue tapping. You dry your brush and you tap. Until you get rid of all those peaks. And you'll be able, you'll see the sand through this, okay? Uh, there is sand in this, okay? And what happens here is that you're removing most of the carrier or paint, okay? Okay? And allowing the sand and the glue, for the lack of a better word, to remain behind. And you will continue tapping until you are totally, totally satisfied with what you have. Over here, folks, is uh, some primer. Okay. I should be doing this on the dot on my cross. I'm pretty happy with where it is at right now. There's just a little area right here that I'm going to tap to get rid of those little mountains, and we're going to call that done. Okay. Uh, this washes with water, folks, <clears throat> and this is what it is. Okay. That will dry in about an hour, and it's going to look like this. Okay. Okay. So what do you think? The frugal monitor strikes again. Uh, it was a pleasure uncovering this, uh, folks. And that was our sixth installment of the frugal monitor. Folks that want to do uh, a realistic non-skid on their tanks and so on and so forth and don't like Mr. Surfacer, this is what you need. Liquitex Natural Sand, available at Michael's. Uh, I know in the U.S. and in Canada, uh, for our European friends and all that good stuff, I don't know uh, if you guys have a Michael or whatever. Uh, you should be able to find this online, okay? Liquitex. I'll put that link in the... If I find it online, I'll put a link there uh, in the video. But uh, this is it, okay? It's acrylic. There's no smell using this, and it washes with water. Uh, $17? Might be a little expensive. And he says, why is it a frugal? Well, because we repurpose stuff, okay? Uh, what it does is that it, it provides a grip for artists, okay? On that they don't want to, it's, it's for brush strokes, okay? Um, we've developed a lot of techniques, okay? Uh, in our modeling, well, we have to think of the box. Artists have been doing a lot of stuff for a long time, okay? And I ran across that. I said, 17 bucks. Uh, it's not even the price of a case of beer for crying out loud. It's worth it. 
I'm going to give that a whirl, and I'm happy I did. Now, I'll be able to do my non-skid on uh, the vehicles where I want it, and uh, yeah. And uh, for those that uh, are really, really uh, into, uh, like some vehicles had these stick-on patches or whatever, or um, uh, whatever, uh, it's easy to do, okay? You get your Tamiya masking tape, you mask off your air, you make a little little patch there, whatever, and you just, it, 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 Bob's your uncle, okay? It's beautiful stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, and the texture, and it is right scale for what we we're doing. It was a pleasure to share this with you folks. Without further ado, Switcher, signing off.